And now, it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 202, the amazing hippopotamus. The Greeks made up that word, and it means river horse. <laughs> well, they got the river part right, but a horse, please, how common. Found in these parts of Africa, you'll soon see they're nothing like a horse. Yeah, giddy up. Horse? Uh, I'm far more handsome. Exactly. In fact, they're more closely related to whales. Right. What? Hippos spend most of their time in the water. Pass the soap. But at night, sneak out onto land to eat lots of grass. Maybe that's where they get the horse part from. Nay, nay, it's because we gallop fast. Whoa. OK, then. The hippo's ears, eyes and nostrils are very well placed for floating about in rivers. Um... Yes? Sitting around in that water all day, don't you ever get hippothermia? Really? What an awful joke, you hippo potty mouth! <laughs> and speaking of mouths, hippos can open theirs extremely wide. And their jaws are so powerful, they could crush a watermelon like a grape. Ooh! Yes. Hippos are quite aggressive when protecting their territory. <laughs> well, that theory will bite you on the bottom! Ow! Oh. oh, and they like to mark their territory by... Uh... Wait, no, don't tell them that! Oh, you told them! And you reinforced it with a graphic! Oh, well, that's the truth. I'm no hippocrit. Please stop. They might be big, grumpy-looking sausages, but the hippopotamus seriously is an amazing animal.